Hai Assalamualaikum Anda bersama saya Nisa dan hari ini Nisa dan tim Amaz berada di Miasat Teleport and Broadcast Centre untuk mengetahui dengan lebih lanjut serba sedikit mengenai teknologi satelit yang menghubungkan Malaysia ke dunia antarabangsa Jadi jom ikut Nisa Miasat atau nama penuhnya Malaysia East Asia Satellite telah dimulakan hampir 20 tahun yang lepas di mana Miasat 1 telah dilancarkan pada tahun 1996 Kini persiapan untuk melancarkan satelit ke-6 dinamakan Miasat 3B pada bulan ini telah pun lengkap dan menanti saat pelancarannya. Terdapat banyak kegunaan satelit dan secara amnya adalah perkhidmatan TV satelit seperti Astro. Lebih dari itu, satelit juga digunakan terutamanya untuk rangkaian telekomunikasi yang boleh mencakupi kawasan luar bandar seperti hutan belantara mahupun di kawasan laut. Rangkaian satelit sangat berguna untuk landscape sebegini. Miasat juga bertanggungjawab dalam memastikan kawasan luar bandar memperoleh akses internet. Antara kawasan luar bandar yang terlibat termasuklah 700 kampung tanpa wayar serta 350 pusat komuniti jalur lebar. Kami berpeluang bersama CEO Miasat, Paul Brown Canyon yang akan berkongsi dengan kami sedikit sebanyak info berkaitan teknologi satelit. Okay, satellites in Asia play a very big role in distributing TV channels from the studio, whether that be in Hong Kong, Singapore, KL, London or New York, to all the pay-to-be operators across the region. Miasat is the leading Asian operator, or the leading operator today, distributing HD content in this region. So we have two satellites which are, which are basically being prepared for launch. Miasat 3B, which we'll talk about a little bit later, which will be launching in a few weeks, and Miasat 3C which will be launching end of 15, early 16. Satelit Miasat 3B bakal dilancarkan di Pusat Angkasa Eropah, Kuro, French Guinea. Lancaran ini turut melibatkan lagi sebuah satelit iaitu Optus 10. All satellites here, what we have is uh, the bigger portion of this satellite is a, is a solar cell where we collect all solar energy for powering the electronic equipment on board. So it consists of uh, five main reflectors. Reflectors is just like antenna on the ground here, you see outside the on, you see antennas. So similar, each reflector represents four area on, on the earth surface, which is the uh, India, Indonesia, Australia and Malaysia. So each of these reflecting the, the signal or beam to that particular region. Right? Here you see a shiny part of it on, the, um, on this side and that side is this, these are reflectors where we reject the heat because in space the heat is very difficult to remove. So the only way we do is by rejecting it through a reflective surface or mirror-like surface. If you come closer, there's a lot of uh, small rocket engine that we use for uh, station keeping purposes, as the Paul mentioned. So there's small rocket. Because this rocket carry fuel, because on board there's a fuel which we can use for 15 years of life. Depend on mission, some mission they have put more fuel, but for, for our mission, 15 years is designed. But of course, depend on how we use the fuel, we may extend life. As our orbit determination, how the station keeping works, the impact of the uh, interference in space, so those things contribute to the amount of fuel that we use. But it will take us about um, five days. In that five days, we'll be doing multiple, uh, we come from blue into uh, magenta, and then this is, this, all this orbit is a, is a step where we use our own internal fuel before the satellite goes into a perfectly new stationary orbit. This one. From then onward, we start building fuel. This is where our satellite will be placed. They are in, in area launch where uh, we have a capability to put two satellites in, in, in one launch. Niasat will be on the top uh, portion of the rockets. So this is a satellite in the folded configuration or stored configuration what we call that. Niasat will be on the top here and then the bottom here will be our co passenger. The, the launching will be at the French Guiana Kuro. This course, of course, if something happens, there's often see outside that. Launching is not a it's, it's very critical activity. Um, a lot of things can happen, but we hope for the best uh, for the future for Mia Sat here. Yeah. You see the whole rockets here, everything here, from here to bottom to all fuel. This is about four, uh, 14 stories. And all these components here coming back to the, to the Earth's surface, including this ferry here as well, all, all back to the Earth. So they fall in sea and then and, and in desert area for those launching in the open uh, in the desert. For Miasat, in the launch sequence for this case, we expected Miasat to be separated for the five minutes. The intention is to come for this, we are expecting around 25 to 26 minutes, our satellite will be separated. In the launch sequence, you see here, 
Of course, the first separation will be the, the, the two smaller uh, rocket engines here. Uh, and, then, and then after that, the fairing will be open. The, the bigger portion of the satellite uh, rockets will be uh, ejected. And then later on, we have a separation here. It's a 3D separation at about 25 minutes after launch. Sekian rangkuman ringkas daripada kami di Amaz berkenaan satelit terbaru oleh Mesat. Ternyata tanggungjawab yang digalas oleh Mesat amat besar dan penting dalam dunia komunikasi dan penyiaran. Saya Nisa untuk Amaz. Yosh!